This video is going to discuss everything about N0, a complete tutorial about N0. So it consists of seven steps. If you know one step, you can simply skip and go to another step. The first step is basic setup at N0, basic setup mean whether the node is installed or not. The second step is how to add references from nature, from wildlife journals, from science, from American Chemical Society, the Royal Society of Chemistry, Google Scholar, Elsevier, AIP, Google Scholar button. This one is very, very important. MDPI journal, which is open access journals, physical review and books or book chapter. The third step is how to edit references. Why we need to edit references? In some time, there is extra word or some digit like dollar sign or brackets. So we have to edit, we have to remove those. So you cannot simply delete when the end note is active. So you have to go to end note and edit it there and just cite that reference again. Okay. The fourth one is how to add references manually. Manually means that you, you, you read something and you want to cite that you want to acknowledge that document, that work, and you don't know how to download its citations because it is not available anywhere or it is difficult for you to find the citation. So you have to use it, you have to do it manually, right? The fifth step is very, very important, how to export a node library. What does this mean? This means that you give references, for example, 100 references in your review article or something, and you want to send it to me for revision or for proof proofreading so you, sometime you need to send a note lab file as well but i will show you that you can export it from ms world document only right as well as uh, the 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 uh, the end note is active uh, the sixth one is how to export a note uh, citation to plain text why this is important or uh, sometime when you are writing thesis uh, and you are printing so when a note is active, so it causes a lot of problems. You know, in the document, there is a, a lot of issues. Uh, and sometimes, uh, when you are doing little changes, and if, for example, if in your thesis, you have 400 references, and it is updating all the time, so it's causing a lot of trouble. So you have to make it plain text, like the text you see here, so it will not cause any problem. The last one is the feature of end notes. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Look here, uh, this is my document here. Uh, uh, this is not complete tutorial, and this video is going to explain everything about N0. Uh, and I want to uh, put references here. So, if you you you, you install N0, N0 tab will be already there, right? So, this button is basically instant formatting. So, uh, if you cite, it will automatically uh, format the references. If you make it off, it will not instantly format once you make it on it will start uh, formatting again right uh, this is also you have to update citation uh, when you give some more references right uh, this is you have to go to in note this one is easy and this is you have to edit in uh, note but i don't have any citation in my in note this is why it's not going there to edit right uh, and this one i will show export in uh, note right so this is the basic in note uh, it look like like this right so let's get started the first, uh, the, uh, the the first tip is gone now. This one, right? And now we have to uh, uh, go for the next tip. So now I'm going to show you how to add references from nature, right? Okay, put my cursor here. I want to add reference here. Correct nature. Every journal of nature. It does not mean only nature nanotechnology. Every journal, right? So it will have the same place for citation. This you see, cite this article. When you click here. Next tip site, download citation. You here, download citation. So we are going to open it here. Sometimes it download here in Mozilla in some other format. So in Chrome, I have here. So it is here now. It is I have to select it sometime by default select and I have to click this one export and that citation. You see here I'm now right in, in references, it will automatically come down here. This is now. I want to add again here. This is nature here. Wiley, Wiley. There are many journals. This is advanced science, so it means that there are many journals from Wiley, right? So you have to go for this tool. Tool, export citation. It will take us to the next 
uh, page in here RIS or in not I am click in not download here and it goes I will just give these two or uh, few uh, because I am not going to waste time a lot of time uh, similarly science science general this inverted comma you see here science so when you click here so there are many options here so I have to click in not and the export citation here you see here you need to do the same Similarly, ACS, ACS is here, RIC, RIS, click here, citation here, you see here, it's a download here. See, similarly, a Royal Society of Chemistry, so you have to go here, and notice already here, RIS is also here, and notice here, so click and go, it will download here. You see here, okay, this is Elsevier, Elsevier we know, there are so many journals in this side button work here, when you click. Uh, export to RIS as I told you N not or RIS you see here okay three this is correct uh, now let's go to AIP publishing so there are so many journals you see here so many journals so many journals so for example uh, I want to uh, read an article from applied physics uh, review here and I just uh, want to I read this article so it is here tools like the like the Wiley tool, and I download citation tool, so it will take me to the next page. And not RRIS both work. So I have to click here. You see here, it works. Okay, we have now four references here. You see here, good. Okay, this one is gone. Now this is uh, basically uh, if you this is let me show you uh, Google Scholar for example. Uh, if you you want to download from Google Scholar. In my you need to click this one so it will automatically take you to that journal so okay this one is not that difficult you see here this one is also easy now this one is basically google scholar button for example i want to <coughs> quickly give references of this journal so i have to copy the title and i have to go to google scholar button pin when i pin it it will come here you see here and this one is very very easy you have to click here it will bring you here Click this one. Right. When you click this one, I am interested in EndNote. It will automatically download here. You see here. <laughs> this is wonderful, right? This is wonderful. Uh, now this gun. Uh, this is now MDPI. MDPI. There are many general in the MDPI. This one is nano material. Okay. So you have to look here. This inverted symbol. You see here. Biotex EndNote or is both work EndNote. Click EndNote. Or uh, instantly downloaded. Right. The last one is general physical review. You see here, a uh, physical review letter. There are many journals here. You see here, it, it, it will show the same here. Now I, can, I click download. RIS are in note here. In note, download here. You see here, five, five, five references. Wonderful. Now the second step one. Now the third step is how to edit references. Why I say edit? Look this. Uh, reference. There are some extra information. This dollar sign, mushroom. I don't know why this is occurred because maybe this is because of this colon or something else. I don't know. But I, now I need to change this. So if you look into these references, this is ATO. This text is not black, but this these are black. You see here. So these are black. This means this note is ATO. You cannot delete it from here. Otherwise, it will cause a lot of problem for you in if you uh, add a lot of references. So we have to do it manually, right? Manually. The first thing is I have to remove this here. So how I have to remove? I have to select this and go to edit. Okay, edit. And this is the last reference, the mark, the mark one, the mark. Yeah, I have to remove it from here. Yeah, this is that mark. Remove. You see here. Now I I have to go to end node. Now I have to go to end node, and I have to look that. Uh, General, this is that general. You see here, that reference. I have to double click this. When I double click, I have to remove this extra thing. And click this, the below cross, not above, this below. And OK. Now it's OK there. I have to add now. Reference 5, there is nothing now. You see here, this is how it works. Great. Okay, this one is now how to add reference manually. This means that if you if you uh, 
search a lot and you, you don't know uh, how to add reference, how to find reference in this all journal, Google Scholar button, uh, books, etc. You, you could not find the reference. Now you want to re refer that article because that article is very important, that document. You have to edit manually. Let's suppose this is the document. Okay. I, we want to make it manually reference. So this is copy uh, title uh, and you have to go to reference here. Uh, reference new reference control and also work you see here you have to add everything here the title is basically here you have to make it here uh, and you have to put other here uh, uh, how much etc uh, uh, you see here like this these are the others uh, general name mean nature nature chemistry yeah, nature chemistry is here while volume is five uh, uh, pages they have 13 pages and it starts from uh, 263 to uh, start pages 263 we are only interested in this one okay so we every detail you have to put here and then click this cross below cross and the system say okay you see it is already found now and you you can uh, add it here any place you can add it here edit here it will come now to one number you see here i add it here it is ahmad ATT, nature chemistry this is how you have to uh, it manually. Right? How to export uh, EndNote library? This is very important. Now I close this EndNote. Okay, you you just send me this uh, 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 paper, and it has a uh, large number of references. But but it is active EndNote. How I know active EndNote? Let me zoom this. When it is active, so when you select it, so the the references look like black here. You see here black. Similarly here also. This reference is not black. The, the text the the, the 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 highlight but this is black this 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 mean that these re references are active and notice the here now and notice not open but this is active okay so how i have to export here i have to go here and export this export to in note i have to select the first one export lab training library okay now it will open me in note here and now it will ask me that where you want to save it so I want to make new here, okay, and we are, let's see, uh, the two-dimensional versus three-dimensional, uh, this is, uh, I give name, okay, okay, and the system will tell me now that it is okay, I will export now these six references, okay, export complete, how many references, six references, in the end note there will be six references, done, you see here, how easy is this, uh, yeah, now the last one is, how to export in notes citation to plain text why i'm converting the plain text because if i have thousand references so when i add one more so it will update here and it will take a lot of time a lot of time so i want to make it inactive or in note there are many ways so the system will not disturb this original file in note uh, tutorial okay let me go here uh, to convert you see here and they also give some uh, danger sign you see here convert to plain text and it give me warning there. Do you want to continue? Because this, when I want to the the new copy, a note will be not active. So even when you add references, it will not work. Okay, I am say okay, my document is final. So you see here, automatically new document is open. Now the end note is not active. You see here, end note is not active. You can do now changes everything. This is how it works. Okay, the last one is basically feature of end note. Okay, so. Feature of EndNote means that there are so many features, but I'll just show you one feature. Uh, for example, uh, single layer uh, M2 is, I want to add the PDF here. So you can read also, for example, single layer, this, this, you see here. So you can read here this, for example, this is, uh, you give reference to this uh, for the, from this journal. So you can read this. This is a wonderful platform over here. You can zoom and you can uh, do everything here. You can zoom also here from here, you see here. And you can underline here, you can uh, select it here, you can underline, you see here, you can use strike here, this thing for your understanding. So EndNote also help to uh, read article like this video. Okay, thanks for watching.